والنجم إذا هوى ما ضن صاحبكم وما غوى This is where I, my mind was just blown away about this. وَلِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ لِيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسَاءُوا بِي بِي مَا عَمِلُوا You heard the bar? Okay. وَيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا بِالْحُسْنَ Another bar, but there are two different kinds of bar. So let me explain. He, I'm, I'm summarizing here. Allah will compensate those who did sins because of their sins or for their sins. What am I translating as because and for? B. B is because of and for. Okay. So when he says he will reward them because of their sins, I was expecting Allah to say that he will reward those who do good because of their good deeds. Because, because. That's not what he did. He changed it. He changed something. He said he will pay, he pays the excellers, the ones who do good, with the most excellent. It's a different ba. It's a different, he changed it. Now this change means something's missing. It means something's missing. But before we go to some, what's missing, keep this thought in mind. I want to tell you some things. Asa'u and ahsanu. I keep saying good deeds, bad deeds, but there's... Arabic, right? Roots, secondary meanings. We gotta, we gotta get deep with these two words. Asa'u comes from the word sayi'a. Sayi'a comes from the word sawa. And the verb si'a and sa'a. And these words mean ugliness, disgusting, smelly. Si'a or, or a sawa is actually a corpse. A rotting corpse is called a sawa. Kaifa yuari sawata akhihi. The words su, su, and sayi'a and sayi'at are used for deeds that are ugly. There are lots of words in Arabic for sins. Quran uses multiple words for sins. One of them is related to sayi'a and su and all of that. And it has to do with the nature of the deed itself being ugly. Sometimes the deed isn't ugly, but the intention is ugly. Sometimes you thought you're doing something good, but you actually ended up doing something bad. Like, you know how Musa Alayhisam was helping someone and he accidentally killed someone? That wouldn't be a sayi'a. You know why? Because it's not an ugly deed. It's not, it, the intention isn't ugly. Sayi'at are like, you know, backbiting is ugly. Slander is ugly. Murder is ugly. Destroying a family is ugly. Cheating is ugly. Stealing is ugly. Those are sayyat. You understand? Okay? Now, Allah says He will compensate those who did ugly things. They committed ugly acts based on what they did. And He didn't say bima fa'alu. He said bima amilu. Now, the word doing, there's two words. Fi'il and amal. Fi'il means you do something without even an intention. I'm breathing right now, that's a fi'il. Your ears can hear my sound, that's a fi'il. But you're paying attention, that's a amal. That's a amal. There are, my heart is beating right now. Is that a fi'il or a amal? That's a fi'il. That's a fi'il. But I raise my finger, and that's a what? What's the difference between a fi'l and a amal? Amal is a deed with intention. And fi'l is a deed without, could be with intention without, it's more broad. But it includes deeds without intention. Allah will not punish ugly things without first looking at the intention. You know, in this life, if you committed murder, if you committed murder, nobody's going to care about your intention. Murder is murder. If you stole, nobody's going to care about your intention. Stealing is stealing. A crime is a crime is a crime. The constitution does not include if you had good intentions and you killed someone, then we're going to, then the punishment is different. Then you won't get arrested. We'll just say, you know, try harder next time. No. Intentions can only take you so far. But on judgment day, 
Allah says, even the people who did the ugliest things, what's the first thing Allah will look at? Their intentions. It's the intention and the deed together. That's what he will look at. Asa'u bima amilu. Amazing. Amilu also here means that they did ugly things intentionally. They were, they were intentional when they did ugly things. And that's why they will get compensated based on what they had done. Asa'u bima amilu. Then he says, وَيَجْزِيَ الَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا أَحْسَنُوا comes from Hasana, which is translated as good deed, but it also means, it comes from Al-Husn. Al-Husn means two kinds of beauty, internal and external. Jamal is external beauty in Arabic. Jamal. Comes from Jamal, which is a camel, because a nice looking camel is called a Jamal, and from it you get Jamil and Jamal beauty because they associated camels with, with beauty. However, ihsan or husn doesn't just have to do with external beauty. It is external and internal beauty. Now, the thing is, we all know that there are two kinds of beauty, external and internal. There are people who look very beautiful on the outside and are really ugly on the inside. And there are people that are really ugly on the inside or really good look, good, or really beautiful on the inside, but they're not the best looking people on the outside. There are places in the world that don't look beautiful on the outside. But the people there are some of the most beautiful people you'll meet on the inside. So husn is actually when the outside and the inside both are what? Beautiful. Allah is saying deeds that were beautiful on the outside and the inside. The intention and the act on the outward are both captured inside ahsana, in the most beautiful form. And then by extension, ihsan also means to do your very best. To do your very best, which is interesting. Allah does not expect perfection. He expects that I try to make as beautiful an effort as I can on the outside and the inside. That's what he's expecting. And we're going to see this is the introduction to a concept that he will build on in this passage. As we move forward in the next couple of days, you're going to see this built on. The idea that Allah expects me to do my very best. There is no such thing as my truth. We already covered that. But there is such a thing as my best. Because my best is not the same as your best. They're all different. Allah made me, my, my, my brain is different. My opportunities are different. My upbringing is different. My genetics are different. My economic circumstances are different. My emotions are different. So my best is made up of different, the, the pieces I have to work with are different. Like to give you an analogy to understand this, because I like to take philosophical concepts and put them in silly examples, makes it easier to understand. If I give one kid just a few Lego pieces, and I give some other kid a lot more Lego pieces, they're able to do their best with this, and they were able to make something, but this one could make something much, much more, because they had a lot more pieces to work with, right? Allah gives some people much more opportunity. Allah gives some people much less opportunity. Allah gives some people much more physical ability. Some people much less physical ability. They're able to do different things. So their ihsan looks different. It looks, it looks different. So that means I shouldn't do base my goals, what's my best, based on somebody else. Because the package Allah gave them, the Lego blocks Allah gave them is different from mine. So I shouldn't. Don't wish for these preferences Allah gave some people over others. Oh my God, I wish I could be just like you. No, you should wish that you could be the best you. The, the, the best you, you already have ihsan in you, just bring it out. The diamond's already there, just remove the dirt, you already have a diamond inside. Or like, I wish I could be a diamond, you already are, stupid. Just cover the, remove the dirt, you'll be fine. The, 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 the excellence is already there. This is the conception we have to develop. It removes the need for comparison, ihsan. Because I, and by the way, this is also not excuse, because on the outside you can say, I'm doing my best, okay? I'm working on it. And this is my new favorite excuse now. It is the woke excuse. I'm working on it. I'm working through it. What does that mean? I'm working through it. Hey, did you, uh, did you ever talk to your mom about the issues you're having? No, I'm, I'm, I'm working through that. What does that mean? I'm not doing anything. So next week, what's going on? Yeah, I'm still kind of working it out. How, how are you working it out? Like, is it with a dumbbell? How, how, how do you work this out? In your head? Yeah, by not thinking about it until you brought it up. That's what it means that I'm working through it. 
You know what that means? And then they say, I'm doing my best, okay? That lying is not your best. Lying is ugly. So you know what happens? The devil beautifies their deeds to them. You're actually not being truthful, but you're telling yourself you're doing ihsan. Human beings can have a, per they have a perfect view of themselves, even if they make all kinds of excuses. Oh.